differently from the 90s, the 2000s, the 80s, the 90s, and 2000s, um, which were to differing degrees um, periods of hope, periods when we really thought of, you know, our imaginations could fly. This is a lousy time. And it's a, and we have to recognize that. We have to bite that bullet because if we go into forward into this time, imagining that it is something like that and we are going to feel like that, we are not going to feel like that. It is going to feel like the 1930s Europe. Um, that is what we are looking at right now. Mm -hmm where, you know, catastrophe is, and we still have to stand. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. And that, as I said, it's not the best way to end this, but for me, it's like, you know, gird your loins, you know, be prepared. This is not going to be easy, um, but we don't have a choice. We, um, we need to keep doing, um, you know, and figure out how it is that we keep we will not have answers to the majoritarianism, de-democratization. I mean, that's an avalanche that is on us at this point, and we're not going to be able easily to change that. Okay, you know, we're here, we're going to be here, um, and we will keep doing what we have to be doing. Um, we won't be stupid about it. We're not going to be foolhardy about it um, because this is a behemoth um, that's, that's on the other side. But we're not going away. Um, and we need to figure out how to create and think in those terms because otherwise, you know, we can't create false hopes, neither for ourselves nor for anybody else. And that's really important for me at least um, um. Everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> Stretch and we're, we're still here. We're still stabbed. We're still fighting.